Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maxwell the Mill talking, here to welcome you to a very fabulous evening. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the world famous Cicada Club. Tonight, it's Richard Halburn's Hollywood Cavalcade as we present an Academy Awards party honoring the best films of 1942. Throughout the evening, as the Oscars are presented there at the Brahmins Chinese Theater, as we speak, I'll be up on the microphone and tell you who the winner is. And you can cheer for your favorites and boo for your less favorites. And of course, we may have visions of the future 70 years from now, when the Oscars are presented by means of electrical, broadcasting, and flying cars. I've received the notice, ladies and gentlemen, that before we begin tonight's program, 70 years from now, they will be shooting a movie in this very club. The movie is called The Artist, and it was shot right in this club in the future. And how many folks have seen that picture? Well, it's my honor to announce that the director of that picture has just received the Academy Award for the Best Director. Michelle, as an affichus, has won for directing The Artist as well as a, a, a plethora of other awards I'm sure it will win. And it also has won Best Costume Design and Best Musical Score. And of course, as the evening progresses, we'll have more alerts for you. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the one, the only, Mr. Tin Pan Alley, the Prince of Pep, Mr. Richard Halburn. <laughs> It's the Academy Awards, 1942. My goodness, you ready for a big Hollywood party? I know I am, yes? Here we go. Phone's busy, we're dizzy, it's that affair. Why he's going, she's going, they're going there. Put on your swell tuxedo, put on your fancy frills. I'm going, you're going, Maxwell DeMille's Hollywood party. Get up, get out, get in it. Hollywood party, Hollywood cavalcade. Bring along your girl, go home with someone else's. Forget about your girl, oh, she's sipping lemonade. We'll be kicking our heels up till the roosters are crowing. Bring the automobiles up, everybody is going. Hollywood party. Hosted by Richard Halpern. Hollywood party. Hollywood cavalcade. Hollywood party. Get up, get out, get in it. Hollywood party. Hollywood cavalcade. Bring along your girl and go home with someone else's. Forget about your girl. Oh, she's sipping lemonade. We'll be kicking our heels up till the roosters are crowing. Bring the automobiles up. Everybody is going. Hollywood party. Going a mile a minute. Hollywood party. Hollywood cavalcade. Come and wear your white tie. It's the right tie for the night. I meet you at that noisy girlsy and boysy Hollywood party. All the minks and sables, wines with labels, garbos, gables greet you. Taxis send us to a tremendous Hollywood party. All the girls wear ermine coats that they got from men. But tomorrow, oh, they got to give them back again. So let that laughter spring out, music swing out, Satan sing out, yeah, man. At that crashing furniture smashing Hollywood party. Hosted by Richard Halpern, Hollywood party. Hollywood travel hey. Thank you, folks. Oh, what a great night we have tonight. Oh, boy, what do you think of this orchestra? The Blue Serenaders. Yes, indeed. 
We have a wonderful, yes indeed, we have a wonderful show lined up for you tonight. Our special guests, we have the, the, the two-bit opera is with us tonight. Let's give them a hand, yes indeed. We have that heartthrob of harmony, Mr. Michael Adrian, he's with us tonight. A big hand, yes. The San Francisco songbird, Miss Michael Sandoval is with us tonight. And that, that amazing, amazing jazz combo, that jazz group, they're called Dante's Inferno. They're here with us tonight as well. And more surprises, more surprises indeed. Well, so uh, all the songs tonight, uh, most of them are, are from movies. So uh, that song you just heard, Hollywood Party, which we sing here every time I play, is from the movie Hollywood Party. How do you like that? <laughs> that, that made sense. This next song was uh, a big hit back in the 20s, and uh, it was heard first in the films in the film Flamingo Road. It was played in the background of Casablanca, and uh, it really made a big hit in 1951 in The Joker is Wild by Frank Sinatra singing it. This song is called if I could be with you, a big Ruth Edding hit. So what do you say? And the dance floor is now open. If I could be with you, I'd love you strong. If I could be with you, I'd love you long. I want you to know that I would go until I told you, honey, that I love you so. If I could be with you one hour tonight, if I was free to do the things I might, I'm telling you true, I'd be anything but blue if I could be with you. What do you say, boys? Come on, boys and girls, you come here to dance. You come here to dance, what do you say, what do you say? There we go, that's it. There we go. If I could be with you, I'd love you strong If I could be with you I'd love you long I want you to know That I wouldn't go Until I told you, baby That I love you so If I could be with you One hour tonight If I was free to do The things I might I'm telling you true I'd be anything but blue If I could be with you for just an hour if I could be with you. Ah, oh, yes. Lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is that the beautiful Miss, Miss Laura Brodian? Miss Laura Brodian, ladies and gentlemen, and she just got engaged to Stephen right there. Yes, Cindy, congratulations. All right. <laughs> Well, uh, 1942 was a great year, and, and one of the most popular movies of that year was Yankee Doodle Dandy. So I'm gonna sing Yankee Doodle Dandy, even though it was from the, you know, the teens, but there was a movie called Yankee Doodle Dandy, and uh, it got revived. Look at this guy. Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so everybody, it's a big, jumpy number. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. What do you say? It's A Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle do or die. A real live nephew of my Uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July. I've got a Yankee Doodle sweetheart, she's my Yankee Doodle joy. The Yankee Doodle came to London just to ride the ponies. I am that Yankee Doodle boy. Oh, 
Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle do or die. A real live nephew of my Uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July. I've got a Yankee Doodle sweetheart, she's my Yankee Doodle joy. Yankee Doodle came to London just to ride the pony, I am that Yankee Doodle boy. Some fun, ain't it? Wait a minute, folks. I think we have a special message from our host, Mr. Maxwell DeMille. Come on, Mr. DeMille, what's up? Ladies and gentlemen, I've just received some news of Oscar winners. Oh, yes, let's have it. The best song, the best song of 1942 goes to White Christmas from Holiday Inn, Irving Berlin, music and lyrics. Yay! And we just happen to have last uh, December here at the Cicada Club, Mr. Johnny Holiday, the great nephew of Mr. Bing Crosby, who sang this wonderful award-winning song. That's terrific, thanks, Max. Some people don't know from Christmas. <laughs> yes, they call Richard Halpern Father Christmas. <laughs> and what do your friends call you, I wonder? Yes. <laughs> and I also have, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the best screenplay yes, for the best 1942. Best. The nominees were the... Yes, the the, the Invaders, The Talk of the Town, Mrs. Miniver, Random Harvest, and The Pride of the Yankees. All right. And the Academy Award goes to George Freshell, James Hilton, Claudine West, and Arthur Wimperus for Mrs. Miniver. No, Mrs. Miniver was the winner. You know, during the war years, the, uh, yeah. Mrs. Miniver was a very popular picture, and I'm sure it will take many more awards as the evening progresses. Thank you, Maxwell to Bill. Give a hand, folks. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lovely instrumental that shall be rendered by the Blue Serenaders Orchestra. This is a, a Warren and Dubin song. This is called, I Only Have Eyes For You. Take it away, boys. <laughs>
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've just been listening to I Only Have Eyes For You, as rendered by the Blue Serenaders Orchestra, coming to you live from Richard Halpern's Hollywood Cavalcade here at the beautiful Cicada Club, Maxwell DeMille Cicada Club. All right, folks, and so now we're going to bring to the stage right now our first of our wonderful special guests. These young ladies are absolutely amazing, and uh, I love them dearly, and I've been wanting them in the show for a long time. Please welcome to the stage Natalie and Ari, or also known as the Two-Bit Opera! Okay, okay. Dun, 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 dun. You gonna come up here and do this? Come on up, come on up, hello. My goodness gracious. Oh, the pledge is all mine. Believe me, all right, come on up. All right. Hello, folks. I'm the amazingly odious Ari, fam famous vaudeville star from the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, with a small hiatus as an elementary school janitor in the 80s and some health problems in the 90s, but back in 2000 for a new career. Okay, folks, and here's my lovely assistant, the capable Miss Puddle. And we'll need a, uh, a volunteer from the audience. So uh, let's see. Oh, oh, look at that! Oh, that, that, looks guy, like that guy looks like a sap. Come here, sir. Come on up. Don't be shy. Come on, Brad. All right, come on. Yay. Let's give him a hand, folks. What's your name, sir? Uh, Bradley. Oh, well, Bradley, thank you for volunteering here. I did. Uh, oh, 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 oh I, I, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Okay, now, 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 Bradley, I've got a deck of cards here. Now, now, take a look at this card. Now, there's nothing funny about these cards, is there? Except for this one, which has an advertisement. But other than that, these are normal cards, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna shuffle these up, folks. Now, Bradley, I want you to uh, take a card, any card. Great. Okay, now I'm gonna take one too. All right, now don't show anybody that. Okay. Now I'm gonna guess which card you have. You ready? Okay. All right. All right, I gotta concentrate, folks. It's a four of clubs. Uh, no. All right, well, what card do I have? Uh, four of clubs? No, that's not right. All right, let me try again. Seven of hearts. No. No? No. All right, well, what do I have? Uh, king of spades? No, 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 that's not right. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I'm concentrating now. You do not have the Queen of Spades. You're right, I don't have it. That's it, thank you. <laughs> don't ask me how I do it. It's magic. All right. All right, thank you, sir. Let's give him a hand. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh, what a great step. I mean, what a great gentleman. Give him a hand. All right, now you did do your job there, Miss Buttles, didn't you?
opera. And they're gonna do a couple of songs in the next act, all right? Let's have it, Natalie and Ari, the two-bit opera. Mr. DeMille, weren't they amazing? Why don't you do this? This is your, oh, there It you comes go. right off, Mr. Halter. Yes, I know, that's the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a psychic source that's been revealed to me yes, about an event that's going to happen 70 years in the future. I'm seeing, I'm looking. The best actor in the year 2012. Who is it? Jean Dujardin for the artist. The artist was shot in this actual cicada club, ladies and gentlemen. It will be shot in the future. Yes, thank you for reminding me. The, the artist will be shot here in the cicada club, right on this staircase, and right over there where these lovely people are sitting. In the future, I see it now. Why are they, why are they gonna shoot them? They're going to film them with a motion picture camera. Yes, and now, ladies and gentlemen, a man who needs no filming because his radiance fills the entire universe, Mr. Richard Halpern. Thank you, Maxwell. What's up next, Mr. Halpern? I'll tell you right now. Mr. Maxwell DeMille, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, and thank you as well. Here's a wonderful song that was in the Al Jolson film Say it with songs in 1929, but uh, baby Luca likes the Russ Colombo version, so we're gonna kind of compromise a little bit. <laughs> this song is called Back in Your Own Backyard. What do you say, boys? We leave home expecting to find a bluebird. Hoping every cloud will be silver lined But we all return And as we live we learn That we left our happiness behind A bird with feathers of blue Is waiting for you Back in your own backyard You'll see your castle in Spain Through your window pane Back in your own backyard Oh, you can go to the east or Go to the west Someday you'll come Oh, weary at heart, back where you started from. You'll find your happiness lies right under your eyes, back in your own backyard. A bird with feathers of blue is waiting for you. Back in your own, back in your own backyard You're gonna see that castle in Spain Right through your window pane Back in your own, back in your own backyard Now you can fly to the east, fly to the west Hot shot, someday you'll come Oh, so weary at heart Back where you started from You'll find your happiness lies Right under your eyes Back in your own backyard Back in your own backyard Thank you, folks. Did you enjoy that, Laura? Oh, we have another announcement to make. Another announcement, Mr. DeMille. What happened now? Ladies and gentlemen, I have here in my hands yes. Best Supporting, best supporting. Actress, uh -huh. and the films are Gladys Cooper in Now Voyager, Agnes Moorhead in The Magnificent Ambersons, Susan Peters in Random Harvest, Dame May Whitty in Mrs. Miniver, and Teresa Wright in Mrs. Miniver. Doubleheader for Mrs. Miniver. As I said, Mrs. Miniver is very popular, and the winner is Teresa Wright for Mrs. Miniver, Best Supporting Actress. And of course, the Academy Award ceremony is taking place right now at the Grauman's Chinese Theater, where these winners are being announced and handed to me by means of Carrier Pigeon. 
which explains the incredibly long delay for them to get to me. <laughs> Very good. Good yes. save, sir. Yes, and now the actor in a supporting role. William Bendix in Wake Island. Yes. Van Heflin. Oh, William Bendix Wait. is sitting right there, ladies and gentlemen. William Bendix. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. William Bendix. Please stand up and let... Thank, thank you, William Bendix. You should be at the Grauman's Chinese. I don't understand. Over here. This is where the action is. Van Heflin and Johnny Eager. Walter Houston in Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yay! Frank Morgan in Tortilla Flat. And Henry Travers in Mrs. Miniver. Who's the winner going to be? And the winner for Best Supporting Actor, 1942, Van Heflin for Johnny Eager. Yay! And of course, I think Van Heflin's birthday is right around this time of year. Which reminds me about birthdays tonight here at the Cicada Club. And now? Is it now? All yes, right. it's time, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Yeah. A very special treat. If it's your birthday, we invite you now down to the dance floor yes. for a very special birthday presentation. Yes, I have a list. All right. Now, if I didn't call your name, come down. And I'm going to call your name with people I know are here. Uh, Jay is with us tonight. And of course, he's not sitting at the table where he's supposed to be. And uh, Kay is with us. Come on to the dance floor, Kay. Come on. And Ernie is with us. Come on. As I'm calling your name, make your way to the dance floor. And Baby Luca's birthday is this week. Bring him in. Bring in Baby Luca. Come on. Come on. And uh, David's birthday is tonight. And Jane's birthday. My sister Jane, she's not here, but there's another Jane here tonight. There's a lot of Janes here tonight. That's slang, you know. Come to the dance floor. Uh, Joseph is with us tonight. Come to the dance floor, Joseph. And a three, a three-header birthday, Christina, Carla, and Lila. Come to the dance floor, everybody. Come on. Yes. And Dutch Newman, the famous Dutch Newman from the Rhythm Boys. It's his birthday, too. There. Come on to the stage. Come on to the dance floor. Steve, it's Steve's birthday, too. Come on, Steve. Mike, it's Mike's birthday too, right at the big table upstairs. Come on down, Mike. Come on down, Mike, it's all right. And Natasha. <laughs> Come on to this, the dance floor, darling. <laughs> yes, indeed. Everybody come to the dance floor if it's your birthday. Is that baby Luca on the dance floor? There he is, bring him on, there he is. Come on. Oh, Joelle's birthday. Bring up Joel. What are we doing? Yeah, that is Joel. Okay. All right. Explain how this works, Max. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Richard Halpern will be singing a very special happy birthday song to each and every one of you, but of course in a large group. So it's not very personal, but what can you expect? Why, look, it's Richard Halpern's grandson. And ladies and gentlemen, he's my um, he's my little brother. Little brother Halpern. He's my, bigger, he's my older brother. And he sings amazingly for how old is he? One year old. He's one. He's one year old. This is Baby Luca, everybody. Give him a big hand. And he sings better than Richard Halpern. I've heard it myself. But he's too shy, and of course he's asking for too much money. We can't pay him, so he won't be singing tonight. So now Richard Halpern will sing Happy Birthday to each and every one of you, but don't leave the dance floor after Mr. Halpern sings Happy Birthday because we have a very special surprise for each and every one of the birthday people. And now here he is, Richard Halpern, and happy birthday. Here we go, ready? 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 See, I'm pretending I'm the piano. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Club Cicada. Happy birthday to you. Yes, and now, an exclusive thing that we do here at the Cicada Club, found nowhere else in the known universe. We have a very special birthday surprise for each and every one of you, as is the tradition here at the Cicada Club. It's time for your birthday spanking, and Mr. Richard Halpern, the mad birthday spanker. Beware, ladies and gentlemen. All right, get to it, Halpern. Stop kissing the babies. You're not running for office. Look out! Oh. And it hurts, too. Ouch! Wow, that, that's painful. 
Yes, these folks are amazing how they can withstand the pain of Richard Halpern's paddling. Oh, look out, look out. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you folks watching this horrific display at home, I must apologize for Mr. Halpern. He sometimes loses control, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a birthday kiss with a young lady. Ah, uh, there's Mr. Ernie. Oh, he's getting a whack indeed. Nowhere else, ladies and gentlemen, can you find this highbrow, sophisticated entertainment than here at the Cicada Club. We have a, an amazing number of birthday people tonight, so this will take some time. Now, post for a picture while we're at it. You have, we have all night. And I'm sure if anybody else has a birthday, they're certainly not going to come on the dance floor now. All right, we need to with, with recall Richard Halpern. We need to recall him back to the stage. Halpern, return, return, Halpern. And ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for all of our birthday people this evening at the Cicada Club. Thank you. And Mr. Halpern got quite a workout, I'm assuming. It really hurts. Yes. And of course, those of you watching at home, feel free to take a paddle and spank yourself. Yes, do it! And now, ladies and gentlemen, we return to our regularly scheduled program with Richard Halpern's Hollywood Cavalcade. The remainder of this broadcast will be spanking free. Yeah, that's what you think. You say that now, but I, we could get requests later on. You don't know. So. Did you all enjoy your birthday spankings? Come on, you know you loved it. All right, yeah, yeah, you know you liked it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's a song I'm gonna sing for you. <laughs> I'm gonna dedicate this to baby Luca, who is, he's actually my great nephew. He's my niece's little boy, all right? And this is a song that was featured in the very first talking, official talking picture, the jazz singer. This song is called Dirty Hands, Dirty Face. And it's one of my favorite little boy baby songs to sing, all right? From 1927, Al Jolson sang this, and I'm going to sing it for you right now. He also sang it on Broadway, but it was catapulted to stardom. This is the first song you hear him sing in The Jazz Singer. What do you say, boys? It's for you, baby Luca. Wonderful pals are always hard to find. Some folks have one, some folks have none. And I was alone for years, but fate was kind. And in the end, sent me a friend. Although he's not much higher than my knee, still he's the greatest thing on earth to me. Dirty hands. Dirty face leads the neighbors a chase, but his smile is as cute as can be. Making noise, breaking toys, always fighting the boys, but his eyes, they're a vision to see. When my work is done Coming home from the setting sun To the gate he'll start to run And then I'll kiss my boy Dirty hands, dirty face Little devil, that's what they say But to me, he's an angel of joy Dirty hands Dirty face Oh, he leads the neighbors a chase Oh, but his smile His little smile Is just as cute as can be You know what, folks? He makes noise Oh, he breaks his toys <laughs> He's always fighting the boys Oh, but his eyes, his eyes, they're his mother's And they're a vision to me And when my work is done Coming home, coming home to the setting sun 
oh, from the gate, he'll start a run. And then, oh, I'll kiss my boy. Dirty hands, dirty face, little devil, that's what they say. But to me, he's an angel of a joy. What do you say, folks? What do you say? You like that? A quick announcement. You've got another surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just received the uh, news on Best Actress. Oh, yes? There at the Academy Awards ceremony at the Grauman's Chinese yes, Theater. Yes, the nominees were... Uh -huh. Betty Davis for Now Voyager, Greer Garson for Mrs. Miniver, uh -huh. Catherine Hepburn for Woman of the Year, Rosalind Russell for My Sister Eileen, and Teresa Wright for The Pride of the Yankees. And the winner for the Best Actress, Betty Davis for Now Voyager. And also, I believe in the future, in 70 years, the best actress will be Meryl Streep for The Iron Lady, I think. I'm just a guess. Really? Yes, Meryl Streep for The Iron Lady, there in the future, 70 years from tonight. Uh, I, I, predict, I predict when she makes that movie, she's going to look just like Faye Dunaway in Mommy Dearest. All right, thank you. Congratulations to Meryl Streep for winning for The Iron Lady in the future. All right. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring to the stage She's known as the San Francisco Songbird. And I know there's people here from San Francisco tonight. Two tables. Please welcome, if you will. First, we got Mr. Brad Kay at the piano. Hello, Brad Kay. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, come on. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. Come on. Please welcome Miss Michael Sandoval. to celebrate with a very special song to congratulating the artist, the silent film, for the awards it's won tonight, and to Maxwell DeMille's Cicada Club for its special appearance in that same film. From 1929, Sunny Side Up. Talk to me. If I had a talking picture of you, I would run it every time I felt blue. I would sit there in the gloom of my lonely little room and applaud each time you whisper, I love you. Love you on the screen the moment you came in view. 
but oh, it don't answer yes or even no. If I had a talking picture of you, I would run it every time I felt blue. I would sit there in the gloom of my lonely little room and applaud each time you would. Isn't she amazing? The San Francisco Songbird, Miss Michael Sandoval. Now, now, you have a special show coming up, right? Oh, well, we sure do. March 29th is our next speakeasy show. It's a, at, in Venice at the Talking Stick. We have some flyers here, and we have Dutch Newman and the Musical Melodians, our the feature band. I'll be singing. We always have fun special guests, sometimes even Richard Halpern. Hope you can make it. All right, thank you, Michael. You'll be back in the next set, right? Once again, the San Francisco songbird, Miss, Miss Michael Sandoval. Now, Maxwell, do you have an important announcement to make? Yes, I do, ladies and gentlemen. Earlier this evening, I announced of a, uh, the motion picture that was shot here using technology from about 15 years ago, and it'll be shown 70 years in the future. I'm talking about the artist, which was shot at this very... Cicada Club, right where you folks are sitting right there. And it's, uh, I've got some news, I've got some news. What's the news? The news is, ladies and gentlemen, the artist has won the best picture. So congratulations to the cast and crew of the artist who shot here at the Cicada Club. And I was very fortunate to actually see them shooting and when they were shooting their scene here. And the other scene they shot was right over there by the bar when the uh, George Valentine collapses and he sees the little miniature people on the bar. That was shot right over there, ladies and gentlemen, here at the Cicada Club. We were the, we were the, lucky, we were the lucky charm for that movie. That's why it won, is because they shot the scene here. That's right, any movie shot at the Cicada Club is bound to win fabulous awards, except, of course, for Jay Egder, which was, we don't mention, but... Wow. Yeah. But, and anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, thanks and congratulations to the artists. And of course, the entire cast and crew and everybody involved. And now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's program continues with Mr. Richard Halpern, the Prince of Pep, right. Mr. Tin Pan Alley, the, the darling, of, the darling of the dance set. Here he is, Mr. Halpern, Mr. Maxwell Deville, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you You've got golf claps. You got golf claps. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to bring to the stage right now another one of our special guests. Oh, girls, oh, girls, get ready. He is known as the handsome heartbreaker of harmony. Please welcome Mr. Michael Adrian. Yay! Oh, look at you. Wow. Oh, it's so handsome. Oh. And you got to get right in it, right on it. All right. Hello, Woo. folks, and good evening. When I think of Maxwell DeMille Cicada Club, I think of all the wonderful dancers that come up to the dance floor. But can I hear a quick round of applause for all of those who have been dancing, huh? A round of applause! So this first song, Come Dance With Me, is dedicated to you. Put on your dancing boots and come dance with me. 
Come dance with me, what an evening for some terpsichore. Pretty face, I know a swinging place. Come on and dance with me. Romance with me on a crowded floor. And while the rhythm swings, what crazy things I'll be saying. For what is dancing and making love set to music? Playing when the band begins to leave the stand and folks start to roll. As we waltz home cheek to cheek, we'll be. Come on, come on, come on, come on and dance with me. Put on your bassy boots and come dance with me. Come dance with me, what an evening for some terpsichore. Pretty face, I know a swinging place. Come on and dance with me. Romance with me on a crowded floor. And while the rhythm swings, what? Cuckoo things I'll be saying For what is dancing Making love set to music Playing When the band begins to leave the stand And folks start to roll As we swing home cheek to cheek we'll be Come on, come on, come on You got another one? I got another one. I got another one for you. We're gonna stick with Jimmy Van Heusen and Sammy Kahn, but this time we're gonna change the verb. Instead of come dance with me, we're gonna bring on come fly with me. Fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze as a bar in far Bombay, come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Come fly with me. Let's float down to Peru. In Llama Land, there's a one man band, and he'll do his flute for you. Come fly with me, let's take off in the blue. Once I get you up there where the air is rarefied, we'll just fly starry eyed. Once I get you up there, I'll be holding you so near. Cause we're together Weather-wise It's such a lovely day Just say the words And we'll beat 
the birds down to Acapulco Bay. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Cicada Club. Just say the words and we'll beat those birds down to walk a Hulco Bay. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Adrian, isn't he amazing? Yes. Thank you, thank you. And the Blue Serenaders Orchestra. Three girls fainted over there while you were singing, man. They're gone. Gone, baby, gone. You'll be back in the next set, right? That's right. Okay. Let's hear it one more time. Michael Adrian, the handsome heartbreaker of harmony. See, you couldn't contain yourself, could you? <laughs> oh, you either. Oh, that, okay, that's all right. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful instrumental from the Blue Serenaders Orchestra. This is a this was a Rudy Valley tune at one time. Yes, this is called "Was That the Human Thing to Do?" What do you say, boys? Bring it on. What do you say?
Ladies and gentlemen, that was Was That the Human Thing to Do is rendered by the Blue Serenaders Orchestra coming to you live from Maxwell DeMille's Cicada Club right here in beautiful downtown Los Angeles, Richard Halpern's Hollywood Cavalcade. And now here's the empresario himself, Mr. Maxwell DeMille. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for someone who's been working so hard for you this evening to present a delightful show. Ladies and gentlemen, me, Maxwell DeMille. Thank you. And how about uh, Mr. Richard Halpern? Mr. Richard Halpern! And the Blue Serenaders Orchestra. Thank you, Blue Serenaders Orchestra. And now for the closing number of this set, Mr. Richard Halpern will be back for more after a short change of musicians, because coming up, we have a change of musicians. We're changing musicians. We have a special surprise for you. And it's not really a surprise, they're right over there. But, but Mr. Halpern will tell you more about what's coming up. And here he is to tell you more and sing more, Mr. Richard Halpern. Thank you, Mr. Here we go, folks. This is a, an automobile song from the teens, from the 20s, that era uh, of wonderful Tin Pan Alley tunes. This is my brother-in-law's very favorite song. And uh, it was used in the film, it, it was in a documentary, or it's gonna be used in a documentary in the year 2003, when we get to that year. All right, and it's called, um, uh, it escapes me right now. Yes, I'll have to look, I'll tell you what it is after I'm done, all right? <laughs> look up a documentary, I know that song, no, but I need the name of the documentary, anyway. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute, anyway. This is, this is a Jolson song, this is called, He'd Have to Get Under. What do you say, all for you automobile enthusiasts. Johnny O'Connor bought an automobile He took his sweetheart for a ride One Sunday Johnny was tucked up in his best Sunday clothes She nestled close to his side Well, things were just dandy till they got down the road Then something happened to the old machinery That engine got his goat off when his hat and coat Everything needed repair He'd have to get under, get out and get under To fix his little machine He was just dying to cuddle his queen But every minute that he'd begin it He'd have to get under, get out and get under Then he'd get back at the wheel A dozen times they'd start to hug and kiss But then the darned old motor It would miss and then he'd have to get under Get out and get under To fix up his automobile Here's the vamp All these songs had vamps You ready? Oh. Well, millionaire Wilson said to Johnny one day, your little sweetheart don't appreciate you. Now, I've got a daughter who is hungry for love. She likes to ride by the way. Johnny saw visions of a million in gold. He took her riding in his little auto. But every time that he went to say, marry me, t'was the old story again. Oh, he'd have to get under, get out and get under, to fix his little machine. He was just dying to cuddle his queen. But every minute that he'd begin it, he'd have to get under, get out and get under. Then he'd get back at the wheel. A dozen times they'd start to hug and kiss, but then the darn old motor it would miss and then he'd have to get under get out and get under and fix up his automobile oh thank you folks oh, i thank you i oh, thank you i oh, thank you couple number one <laughs> My goodness. 